Welcome back to Jack Daniels at LaBear's Casino Resort. We've got former Saints defensive back Mike McKenzie as our special guest tonight. Uh, before we get into the lockout and the CBA and your thoughts as a, as a what, 10 or 11 yeah. year veteran of the NFL, the hair, the locks, <laughs> it makes you a recognizable player. You and I can't remember, maybe another one of the guys uh, with Green Bay, y'all are like the early guys with the dreadlocks. Yeah. Now there are like a lot of guys now with the locks. Al Harris. Al yeah. Harris. Yeah. Yeah. Adrian yeah. James. There you go. Yeah. Ricky Williams. Yeah. We're, we're the original. Yeah. Uh, Ricky right, Williams? Adrian James, Ricky, Ricky Adrian Williams, yeah. James and, and yeah. Ricky Williams, theirs, theirs were a little shorter due to the fact as an offensive player, I always got this question, do they pull your hair a lot? Yeah, I said, can. without any question, if you're an offensive guy, your hair is going to get pulled. Yeah. But as a defensive guy, all offensive guys, for the most part, yeah. are trying to get away from you're right. you, unless you're right. Is an offensive lineman. Yeah, yeah but as a defensive out. back, you always hope they'll be chasing you at some point. That's right. Well, and, that, and, that, and that's right. And outside of uh, uh, my boy from uh, Pittsburgh being dragged down on an interception play about three, Mama, yeah. years, about three years ago. And I also remember it was a playoff you, game yeah, several years ago. Look. But Palomano made an interception right near the sideline, but his body stayed in bounds. But his hair his flopped hair. over and touched the <laughs> sideline, and they yeah. ruled he was out of bounds. Yeah. He paid a price for he it. Did. He's the the only person yeah. that I've seen actually grab, tackle, and drag down by his hair. I yeah. said uh, that would be a big time fight that if that would. ever happened. Mike, big question here surrounding the lockout. I think it's a dead issue, but the 18 game schedule, uh, quickly, your thoughts on this with the amount of injuries that you suffered over a 10 or 11 year career, you cannot imagine an 18 game schedule, can you? It would be very, very difficult. I mean, you would have to expand the schedule because two extra games, I mean, yes, is going to uh, uh, equivalent to about oh, yeah. five to six additional uh, injuries per team. Yeah. I mean, because in a nutshell, you know, each game, uh, the amount of uh, collisions that happen yeah. throughout a game to act uh, professional guys to perform for two additional games. Not to say it couldn't be done, but I, I don't think it would add anything to the game. At I, don't this point. I, I, I can't imagine what it, I would think it, it's worse for them to do that. You would have to add another open week. Of course. And, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, we and so now to, you're talking about starting in players. August. Yeah. yeah. You, you have to. Yeah. Oh, more players and more open dates. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think the way things are set up right now with uh, college season having an opportunity for their big kickoff and then the NFL yeah, already exactly. starting the season off on that yeah. Thursday as the yeah. big uh, kickoff exactly. of the season. I mean, I, you couldn't ask for uh, much more, especially after this past year uh, yeah. experience Seeing, you know what goes into a, a kickoff classic, yeah. which we had an opportunity to experience yeah. in New Orleans this past year. Mike, let me ask a question around the defensive side of the ball. What do you think the ruling is now, of course, for contact to the head, to the quarterback? Do you think that's gotten a little bit out of hand to where it restricts you as a defensive player not to be as aggressive? I where do you think that's going to go for us for defensive players being able to just flat out play, Mike? Well, majority of, of, of that committee hadn't played the game. I agree. And when sure. you have people, I'm, I'm big for safety, but I mean, it's a violent sport. It is. So it's only so much things that you could do in reference to protecting players. Uh, the biggest thing needs to be looked at is, as far as the equipment. If you want to yeah. protect, take a look at the helmets. Can more things be done? But in reference to how a player is going to strike another player, uh, as a prime example, if a receiver knows he's about to get hit, his natural reaction is to duck. Right. Now, I could be aiming dead for his chest. Yes, but as he cringes up, it's going to be some helmet to helmet That's contact. Exact. I've, I've so, never figured that out. So, so you don't why, have that kind of body. a defensive I guy? Agree. Why didn't I say, well, that offensive guy, he was going to get when hit. When that wasn't the intent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's senseless in, in, in response to I them agree. thinking right. that you could I mean, are, put certain things on the helmet to helmet. Y'all are great athletes, but you don't have that kind of body control. To stop the midstream. I mean, you can't and, that's, do that. and that's my point. Some yeah. of the things are senseless. Some of the rules you yeah. understand with the special right. teams and saying the wedge and right. all those things. So some of the rules make sense, but when it comes to the helmet to helmet, you know certain plays are preventable, and I think the refs do a pretty good job of 
uh, like a, on a defenseless player. I can understand yeah, saying, hey, because right. you don't need right. to hit that guy. He's defenseless. He mm -hmm. doesn't even see you. You could, right. But it's different when a guy's coming in and they duck their head and then there's helmet to helmet with, with, with those nutty fans in New Orleans, what was, what was the best, most fun part about being a saint in those fans? I mean, the second lines on Sunday, <laughs> uh, the parades year round. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're, we're into, you know, jazz festival season, the French Quarter Festival. Yeah. Yeah. And in the state of Louisiana, this is one state that I've seen none like it, yeah. where there are so many uh, great causes that's supported by the community in the name of music, yeah. uh, art, as well as food. Right. So I'm looking Agreed. forward to yeah. having my opportunity here in uh, Lake Charles to We're looking forward to having some you, of the Mike, great believe things that, that I do In here. our final 10 seconds, Mike, we've got to let you go. Uh, I guess make it yes or no. Will we have NFL season starting the week after Labor Day? Or you think this is going to drag out, this lockout? I think it's going to drag out, but we will have a season. I think it might be a shortened season, yeah. but we certainly will have a season. Okay. It's not, uh, it's it's not going to be a full season right. lost. Anytime you want to come back, you're welcome here to LaBerge at Jack Gaines. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you bring your lovely yeah. bride, you from like Charles, you come eating ball crawfish, no have a good time. Mike, we appreciate you coming appreciate in. Stay healthy, sir. Mike. All right, we'll take a short pause. Coming up next, Masters Preview, Demo Day at New Moon. Cindy Shackelford is up next talking golf right here at Sound Off 60. Stay right there.